Hey folks, Italian Woodward, Fish Hounds Guide Service. Uh, got my old crappie dog Booger with me today. Um, we got a little time to spare. We're gonna run out and make a quick video. Uh, these fish are still on these uh, stumps and uh, kind of scattered around on standing timber. So uh, still looking for that great big one. Uh, I had uh, this year caught one over about two and a quarter pounds. We caught a few of them. So. Anyway, uh, while they're out here scattered like this, it's a great time to catch some big, big fish. So uh, we're gonna see if we can catch another one that'll, I'm hoping I'd, I'd sure like to get that three pounder off Toledo Bend. I had never done it. So uh, one of these days, hopefully. But anyway, uh, we're gonna just same thing. We're gonna be targeting singled out fish. Um, they are starting to group up a little better. Uh, they start to come together a little bit better schools than what I've seen lately, the big fish anyway. We've been finding a lot of small fish uh, schooled up, but, but here the last several days, I believe the big fish have started uh, kind of coming together. So uh, anyway, uh, we're going to see what we can do with that, and, and we're going to be single pulling it, uh, bumping around with a trolling motor, looking way out ahead of us and to the side of us with side scan until we see what looks like a fish. Uh, and we'll kind of ease over to it, identify it as a fish, and then try to try to fish it and catch it. So. Uh, but anyway, uh, just want to uh, tell you thanks for your time and appreciate you watching my, my uh, videos and supporting my channel. If you would, hit hit subscribe right now while you're thinking about it and and, uh, and subscribe to my channel and, and, uh, and hit the bell there and keep up with what we got going on. So, but I uh, just want to tell you, uh, give God the glory. He is the reason for all good things. And uh, even in times of, when times look bad and and uh, like there's uh, nothing good ahead of us, there always is. Uh, as long as you keep God in your daily life and, and uh, uh, talk to God daily, then, then uh, things are gonna work out good. So anyway, appreciate your time. Hope you enjoy the video. Oh, a little old knot there, a little old lay down. There's three or four fish right there. I'm gonna bump into them and, and uh, see them right there. Try to get on them. I'm gonna go ahead and cast at them, stay back from them a ways. Yeah, there's your crappie right there. Actually, a couple of crappie right there on that stick up. These are gonna be little, that's gonna be brim all right there, but there's your two crappie, at least two for sure. Maybe three, I think that's three sitting there. Okay, there's my jig right there, there's my fish. I'm coming right at him right now. There he goes, right there. Got, dang. Dang, I can't not set the hook on. I don't understand that. The hook looks fine. I think I'm just short striking it. Nothing wrong with my hook. I don't know. Could be one of them short striking days. I'm falling right down in on them right now. Missed another one. Missed another one. That's that's three in a row. Our short striking me real bad. Try it one more time. If it don't uh something don't change here, I'm going to uh sometimes you can take and kind of bend that hook out just a little bit just a slight bend out uh, when they're acting like this and you can get a little better hook set on them okay here i am there's my fish right past him real slow One's chasing it, both chasing it. 
will not come there he goes again there he is i got that one i think i believe i got a good hook in that one yeah nice fish too well i took a bunch of trying didn't it i'm gonna go ahead and net him man i took uh shoot 10 pitches it probably anyway yeah got a good blister on him but nice beautiful fish yeah i took a lot of tries i think uh it could be my jig color right, let's try something something a little different and i broke the tip off that so i'm gonna give his gum drop a try hadn't used it lately but Every now and then I like to give them a try. Gumdrop, uh, Baby Shad, Bobby Garland, Purple, Chartreuse. And I'm just going to throw it on this pink head just to see what happens with it. There's really no way to figure out what colors they might want on certain days like this. when they, These are already acting pretty finicky. So... Uh, you just can just try different combinations and eventually you'll probably find something that uh, that they may want. So that's about all you can do. There's no science to how to figure out what they may be hitting on. Yesterday uh, I was having good luck on that uh, blue and chartreuse and, and uh, just now I pitch it through them a number of times and took me that many times to finally catch a fish the way i do it is i keep my remote on my side i keep my trolling motor typically on jog uh, that's the best way to control your boat when you're searching for these scattered fish like this and uh, you just got to take it slow and easy uh, if you try to get in too big of a hurry uh, you're going to blow by a bunch of fish before you realize that they're there and once you get too close to them, then uh, then they're going they're going to be gone. They're going to spook. So um, it's just this this style of fishing, hunting uh, hunting scattered crappie, uh, scattered around on different structure. You uh, just kind of small groups or single fish. It's just a slow, easy game. And uh, that way you don't blow over the top of them and spook them before you realize that there was a fish there. See, I'm pretty sure that's going to be a fish up there at 45 foot from me. I can't say for certain until I get closer, but that's what I'm looking for. Is I'm looking at 45. I've got them scanned out right now at 45 foot. And I'm looking way out for things that may be a fish. Uh, that way I can ease in on it and check it out better without sp spooking it if it is a fish. Uh, a lot of times it proves to be just a, a knot or a limb on, a, on one of your standing timbers. Um, but you don't know that until you get in closer and you start zooming in on it. Like I'm already kind of deciding. I, I still think that's a fish right there. So I'm just going to bump into it. I think it is a fish there. I think he's right there on that tree by himself. That might be another one, see? So the closer I get, the more I'll be able to tell about it. And that way I won't blow over them and spook them. I can already tell they're not, they're not turned on right now. Okay, I'm falling right in there with them now. Got one coming at me. There he is right there. Got him. Took four pitches. Another nice spawned out fish. Barely had him too, so that's another thing. They're just not, see how thin that fish is? I mean, that fish is paper thin in its belly. 
Uh, what that is, I mean, it's thin all up top. This, this, this is a male that's been spawning and hadn't been eating a lot. Here I am again. See if I can get it right into money. I'm falling right in there with them. Slow here. I got some interest. Yeah, right there. That one took it. See? See how many times that took though? Another nice fish. I think I may have him hooked to look. No, he's really not hooked good. I'm gonna try to hoist him in. Yeah, I got him pretty good. Still outside of the mouth. See, that's when you're catching them that far out like that right there, it's a, a sure sign that they're just not really biting that great. A pretty little fish, though. But yeah, I'm, I'm catching them right on the outside of the mouth if, if I'm not just missing them all together. So yeah, another nice pretty fish. You see? With this color is uh, certainly getting more more attention than the rest is gumdrop uh it's the third color i've pitched uh since i started and uh it's the one that's actually getting the most interest so i still got a couple fish i got about three fish right there so i'm gonna try to just keep picking them off got one interested there he is got him I think he's barely hooked too. Yep, hooked out in the front of the mouth. Barely got him. But I'm catching him. When you, I uh, can't stress enough how slow a technique of fishing this is, trying to search for these scattered fish with live scope. See, I'm looking way out there, 40 foot, and that kind of looks like a fish perfect spot for one right under that old leaning leaning log yeah that's a fish sitting there all by itself all right got him coming up close like a little pitch at him falling in right perfect with him There he goes, there he goes, there he right, right there. He come off that tree then. Oh, big nice fish. That's a that's a nice fish there. Oh yeah, that's a two pounder. Looks like a two pounder for sure though. I'll have to put the scales on that one. That's a monster fish right there. Shoo, yeah boys. That's what we're out here for. That's a monster crappie right there. monster look at the size of that pretty thing yep she still got eggs too uh, she probably make two pounds 115 so she's she's right at a two pounder not quite two but she's right there that's a big pretty fish beautiful fish put her back all right so you see what happened there um I seen her from a long distance off, probably 50 foot away, and uh, I, I thought it looked possibly like a fish right in the crook of that that leaning tree right there. And uh, so I just kept jogging, jogging closer and closer. Uh, I got close enough, I realized it was for sure a fish. And then uh, I had to pitch on her three times, maybe four. Uh, I don't know if it was because I just wasn't quite close enough or it just didn't come by or a lot of times you don't know if that jig's falling behind them in front of them so sometimes it's not because they're not biting good as much as it is uh, you just hadn't swam that jig past them uh, uh, to where they actually seen it because once I did for sure get it right on the money on that about third or fourth pitch uh, she you seen her come off that thing and nail it fish. Right, I'm gonna try fast crank past them again. All right, here I come right there falling. There's my fish.
I'm right there in it. Here it comes. There it goes. Took it that time. Got one of them. Oh, yeah, pretty nice fish. Real nice fish. Get my net on that one. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. That's a big old black there. Yeah, boy. See how that many times that took and changing and also again um, I'm, I'm just barely hooked right out on the I mean just barely on the tip of the mouth there yeah so what we got and, and I'm having to pitch on them numerous times on almost every fish to, to trigger a strike so that's uh, the, the great thing about live scoping is uh, is that right there without that live scope uh, you wouldn't be catching these finicky fish like this uh, being able to know exactly where they are so it's certainly it's uh it's a live scope something else it's a awesome tool uh, you know there's certain days you get within three foot in front of that tree and that fish is going to blow off there and grab it days like this you got to pull it right past them though to, to trigger a strike there's my fish i can see it now Okay, I'm falling in there pretty good right there. There's my fish. All right, come out at me. There it goes. Ah, lost it. Dang it, I had it for a split second and lost it. Okay, falling in there. Falling in there right there. Oh, yeah, it hit it again. I got that. I got it that time. So I must have not hooked it that first try. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Right. Man, there's that is so awesome. So exciting. Nice fish too. Pretty nice fish. Not as big as that other black, but still a pretty fish nice fish one nice looking crappie right there see if I can get a pitch on that yeah I'm falling in there pretty good right there There he goes, he's chasing it. There he is, got him. Got him on the, there he is on the screen. Nice fish. There's another nice one there. Beautiful fish. Get him unwrapped here. He hit it about the best one of the day right there. That was a good good hit. That's another one of them real thin. Uh, I think he's a I think he's a, a little spawned out male is what it is. Hadn't been eating much, real paper thin in the belly, but you know, it's still a big pretty fish. Yeah, that's definitely one sitting right there. It's fish not even eight foot deep. I'm falling in right on the money, first pitch. Here we go. Oh, there he went, got him, right off the bat. There's another one sitting there with him too. Good fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. Jig here. All right, 
Got me a new skirt on. New pair of drawers. There he goes, right there. Got him. Nice fish, pretty fish. Look how pretty that color is on that fish. Real green color on him. Yeah, pretty green. Beautiful fish. That's a nice thick fish there. A little still got some eggs in her, a little female. I just want to show y'all this lay down. In fact there's still fish on it. There's a fish right there. But this is what I just caught the last um, whatever four or five fish off of right here and they're still it's a big, huge lay down tree. The more I turn this live scope, the different view you get of it there. But when I've, there's, there's a fish right there, still on me. But uh, yeah, it's, um, when I first pulled up on it, I seen eight or 10 fish around it at least. And they were just all in and around it. There was one under just about every little overhanging limb there. Um, not in a tight wad, but um, fish scattered all over that thing. And I just sat here and picked off, I think five is what I've caught on it so far. So anyway, that's uh, pretty cool. There's a fish right there, right in there. You see, remember, there's a big part of that tree and another big part of the crappie sitting right in there. <coughs> which is actually where I just pulled that last one. I think there's several right in there. You're just not able to see them all. Bottom, bottom lip hook. I had him hooked right in the bottom lip, but anyway, yeah, that was two fish sitting there. I was just showing you, and uh, as soon as that swam by him, he hammered it. So, I got one. This is not even one of the fish that was there. fish come up out of the lay down. That's a nice fish here. Real nice fish. I had two fish come into the lay down and uh, or that was in the lay down that checked my jig out first time I pitched in and uh, they kind of followed it around but they didn't take it. And uh, so I pitched in again. That's another that's a black female I hadn't spawned there. She's full of eggs. Uh, but anyway, I pitched in again, and as it was falling, I see a fish come from out there out of nowhere, cruising in. It looked uh, looked at first like a bass. It looked longer. Uh, must have just been the angle that I was on. But anyway, it came in there. I just raised the jig up out of the lay down and put it right in her direction. She was heading. She swam right over to it and sucked it up. That's pretty cool. Nice fish. All right, folks. Uh, I believe we're going to call it quits. I uh, had a pretty good little run. I caught uh, about 23 fish. Uh, lost a few. Uh, anyway, I, I didn't keep any. I put them all back. So, um, But anyway, I want to talk about that in live scope a minute. Um, live scope is such an awesome tool for crappie fishing. And it's, it's once, once more and more people uh, get it and get good at it because there's an art to fishing with it and, and once you master that uh, it's, it can be a very productive way of 
of catching crappie and, and catching big crappie, targeting a large crappie that, that typically a lot of these fish wouldn't be, you know, getting caught. So uh, really, you know, all that does is it makes me worry about the future. You know, we start, too many people start, uh, and, and it will happen. More and more people are going to get this, they're going to master it. Uh, they're going to get good at catching these bigger crappie, uh, singled out on, on individual standing timber and, and different things. And, and um, it just makes me worry about, you know, our population. Um, uh, our big fish is the future of our crappie. And so I just wish more people would, um, you know, maybe practice a little more catch and release on crappie, kind of like they do with bass. That's why there's so many, in a lot of these lakes, so many good trophy bass is because uh, uh, these guys are serious about putting these fish back and, and, uh, and then they have a chance of catching them down the road or, or someone else catching them. So I really wish we'd all just, uh, us crappie guys, would get together and, and uh, start trying to, uh, you know, do that a little bit, you know, keep, keep fish, you know, maybe if nothing else, every every third time you go out, throw a bunch of fish back, you know, and it's, it's a good thing. It makes me feel good to do that. Um, but you don't have to, you know, eat every one you catch. If it's guys that go out, you know, once a month, well, hey, you know, keep, keep them all. But uh, if it's guys like me that get to fish all the time, um, fish regularly, and, and we're catching a whole lot of crappie, let's put some of these fish back, and, and especially the big ones, and, and uh, let, let's let, let them grow up, you know. And, but anyway, hey, I appreciate you watching the video. Um, uh, we had a good fun run with it, and um, uh, thanks, thank you for your support. Um, and if you would hit subscribe on my page, hit the little bell there so you get notified. And and uh, we're gonna be bringing a lot more to you. Uh, if you got any questions or uh, any comments, uh, any ideas for me, uh, just uh, I'd love for you to send me some messages and let me know what your thoughts are, good or bad. Uh, but anyway, uh, appreciate you. Um, you know, give God, give God all the glory for all that's good, and and uh, uh, thank you for watching.